Good morning, David. Good morning, Bryce. Hey, good morning, Greencastle High School. We're totally great. Tiger Cup. I'm Bryce Whitney. And I'm David McGinnity. And this is GHS News. And here's our last week's recap. This is kind of over fall break, so it's a little bit late, but here it is anyway. Our football team wins first round sectional versus West Vigo. 33 to 30. And make sure to come out to this Friday's game versus Danville. Everyone be there. And our volleyball team loses to Frankfurt, 2 to 3. Let's move on to Inkpot Topics. Shall we? We'll start with this here. A vote on marriage equality divides Australia. Inch wide hole locked in man's throat after chili eating contest. Baby with three parents? America should pursue fusion energy. Shoe game. Oh, hi there. My name's David. And this is David Talks. So, you sent in another question and I'm going to answer it for you. I have this crush, but I don't think she knows I exist. How do I get her to notice me? Well, believe it or not, I have this question every single day. And, well, if you know anything, you know that the European peacock is known for its loud mating calls. These mating calls do not attract the female peacocks. They simply bring their attention towards the male peacock. Now, what they do to attract the female peacock is they puff out their chest, they show confidence, but this has to be paired with their beautiful colors in their tails. Now, if you don't have beautiful colors in your tail, you simply need to show more confidence, perform as, perform extra, perform more wonderfully than you would if you had a great tail. Suffice to say, if you're an ugly human being, well, you just need to be a better human being than the prettier ones. So, in life, sometimes you just need to ask yourself, are you a European peacock, or are you just a unicellular fungi? Thank you, this has been David Talks. Hi there, I'm Bryce Whitney, and this is the interview. Today we're going to be interviewing Mr. McComish, or better known as MC Comish. These questions were generated by the student body, so you can answer them however you feel like, yeah. to the best of your ability. Alright, let's get to it. What's your favorite part about teaching PE with Ms. Devine? It's an excellent question, Bryce. You know, Ms. Devine is such a spectacular athlete, and she's taught me so much about physical education. I feel like I've learned a lot from her, so it's great to be over in Mackinac. It must be a great environment. It is. It really is. It is. Yes. Wouldn't you drop your first album as MC Comish? You know, at this point, I don't know that I have enough street cred to drop an album, but I'm working on that. But when I do, it's going to come out, I figure, maybe 2018. That'd be great. That'd be great. Also, why did you shave your beard a while back? Um, you know, there was a lot of gray hair, hair in that beard. It wasn't looking very nice, but it's coming back. I don't know, maybe I need to get a little coloring in it. Maybe bigger but and better may, now. Maybe bigger and better, yeah, yeah once yeah. the winter hits. What is the most awkward situation you've been in or encountered while teaching health? You know, there seems to be... And that really helps out. Well, thank you, Mr. McComish. It's been good talking hey, to you. Good talking and as tradition, who will be the next person to be interviewed? Um, I believe we should go with Mr. Hankey. Great choice. We'll see you next week. <laughs> 